Now to more of my exclusive interview with Alec Baldwin. Here Baldwin talks about his relationship with the young armor responsible for the guns on set and that key question, how did live bullets get on that set? How could this have happened? It's the key question now. Why was there a real bullet in the prop gun used on the Rust movie set? I have no idea. I have no idea. I take that back. I have some ideas, but that's not for me to say. Someone put a live bullet in a gun, a bullet that wasn't even supposed to be on the property. And this is the thing I hope that the sheriff's department doesn't give up on, that they follow this to the ends of the earth. Where did that bullet come from? Somebody brought live rounds, plural, onto the set of the film. And one of them ended up in that gun. I've spoken to the sheriff's department multiple times. I don't have anything to hide, you know what I mean? The facts as I see them are what I've stated on the record. You're not worried about being charged. I don't, I've been told by people who are in the know in terms of even inside the state that it's highly unlikely I would be charged with anything criminally. Why did you choose not to check the gun yourself? What I was taught by someone years ago was, as I said, if I, if I took a gun and I popped a clip out of a gun or I manipulated the chamber of a gun, they would take the gun away from me and redo it. The prop person said, don't do that, when I was young. And they'd say, one thing you would need to understand is we don't want the actor to be the last line of defense against a catastrophic breach of safety with the gun. My job is to make sure the gun is safe and then I hand you the gun and I declare the gun safe. The crew's not relying on you to say that it's safe. They're relying on me to say that it's safe. When that person who was charged with that job handed me the weapon, I trusted them and, and I never had a problem. And ever. this was from the beginning of your career? From, from day one. The armorer in charge of weapons on the Rust set was 24-year-old Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. This was her second film in this role. We spent an hour and a half shooting the pistol, her giving me all her safety instructions. Did you think she was up to the job? I assumed because she was there and she was hired, she was, she was up for the job. And nothing she did raised any red flags with you? No. She'd say things like, remember, this is a, this is a blank round. She'd say to you, you know, when we're done, point the gun down. When we're done, you give the gun to me or to Halls, only those two people. Sometimes we would be on a set that was a very, very cramped set, and they wanted people in that room on an as-needed basis. If I'm holding the gun and they say cut, I then hand the gun to Halls if she's not there. Yeah, why Halls, not Hannah? Some people have said that only the armorer should be handling no, no, the No, 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 that's, that's in, inaccurate, meaning in, 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 in the protocols of the business, meaning Hannah would to hand me the gun 99% of the time, no, whatever, the, the preponderance of the time. But when we would say cut, if Hannah was away from the set, I would hand Halls the gun. Some crew members have claimed that the set of rust was riddled with safety concerns, allegations the producers have disputed. Lane Looper, the first camera assistant, quit the production the day before the tragic misfire. It wasn't just one individual. Everything had to fall into place perfectly for this one in a trillion thing to happen. Baldwin says he never heard about any safety concerns. The first time I heard that there was any problem with anybody uh, in the crew of the film was when Luber said, well, we have some issues here. He didn't say anything about the accidental he discharges on set? He didn't say anything about anything. He goes, my men need better hotel rooms. In the aftermath of Helena Hutchins' death, Baldwin says he's not sure he'll ever shoot a film with guns again. I have dreams about this constantly now. I wake up constantly where guns are going off in some tableau that I'm thinking about. These images have come into my mind and kept me awake at night, and I haven't slept for weeks, and I've really been struggling physically. Is this the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, I think back and I think of what could I have done. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.